Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook, it's 5.10pm this happy Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. There's really not much news today, so instead I'll share some valuable tips about cantaloupe living. I'd like to share a little info that, info that might just improve your quality of life here on the island. You've made a big decision to start a new life here on Cantalot. Do you want to make big bold changes to your personal style too? If so, I have good news for you. Vanities, mirrors, and other items used for checking your looks can be used to change your looks too. From hairstyles and colours to your very face, you can enjoy being the you you want to be every day. Oh, That's all from me. Bye now! Okay, so... The main reason I'm, t I'm checking in today is we got a house upgrade yesterday, so we're gonna see uh, what the first house upgrade does, because we had the first, like, the initial house yesterday, and now we've upgraded it to the first house, so let's check out the difference. Uh, it looks a bit bigger on the outside, uh, I think, <laughs> uh, but let's go inside and see what we've got. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Lots of room. Okay, uh, let me just dive into... Okay, so storage goes from 80 to 120, which is good. Uh, we can push some stuff back into the corners. You can see there's a lot more room in here now. Uh, I'm guessing after this upgrade, we'll probably move on to, uh, go down, there we go. Next we'll probably be getting, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, like a second floor, or maybe a basement. I don't know if it lets you pick the order you do those things in, but we'll find out shortly, I suppose. Assuming that's where we're up to. We might still have another expansion for this floor. But yeah, there you go, looks very nice. Uh, and yeah, the storage went up to 120 as well. Uh, I don't know what to do with that leaf umbrella. If you need it, let me know. Because we upgraded our house, we get some more miles for doing that. Catching? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and that's about all we're doing here, so let's go tell Tom Nook about our new house. Do, 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 do. I mean, he already knows because he did it, but we can go talk to him anyway. Uh, we should probably also check the mailbox. Boop. Uh, let's see, we got a book from the Happy Home Academy. And we got a letter from the Happy Home... No, a book from Nook Shopping, and this from the Happy Home Academy. Let's have a look. What's the present we got? I mean, I know that that one's a book, because I ordered it. Uh, this one is... an ironing set. Okay. Let's go put these inside. I probably should have grabbed them before going inside in the first place, but, you know, whatever. Uh, by the way, you can put stuff down from your pockets. You couldn't do that with the similar system in New Leaf. In this one, you just press that button, and you can grab something and drop it out like that. An ironing set. That's something I'm not going to use. <laughs> uh, let's put it on the floor here. You can't really iron on the floor, but who cares. <laughs> and what was the other one? A book. Uh, put it over there. I can read near the sofa. I probably need some more tables in my room, because there's a bunch of stuff that really shouldn't be on the floor. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty then. Let's get going. Uh, first up, we're gonna... Uh, grab that branch there, and then we're gonna whack this rock here. Hopefully we can get some more... Uh, whatchamacallit? Some more, um, iron nuggets, because we do want to get 30 of those. Uh, and we still haven't managed to get that many. Okay, we've got four more there. That's pretty good. Pretty good. How many do we have now? 27. Ooh, we're close. Let's go hit another rock with a shovel. <laughs> uh, we want to arrange the holes sort of like this and see how we do. Uh, 
Okay, that's 29. <laughs> We're getting very close. <laughs> oh my goodness. I probably want a few more than 30 before I trade them in, just because they're useful for things other than making shops. Uh, and I don't want to find myself lacking in the in the iron department. Because <laughs> um, that would be a bit inconvenient. There's our museum. I don't know if we're going to be able to move these things around. I feel like that might be an option, because otherwise everyone would have to have their museum and their other stuff on this island, instead of other parts of their island. Island. <laughs> um, which just seems a little rude. Oh, hi Gulliver. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be flotsam. Can I be jetsam? It just sounds more rugged. Ava, storms are coming. Brace yourself, lads. This is hard to starboard. Tough to port. Stern to stern. You gotta just keep talking to him. Way anchor. Check its blood pressure. Who's your provider? Yum yum. Honk shoe. Honk shoe. Snoring sounds, etc. <laughs> Wait, has somebody put salt in this water? Zzzz. There we go. Oh boy, up we go. On your feet, sailor. This isn't our first mystery beach and it won't be our last. Blur. Swallowed a lot of seawater. Come on, get it together. Talk to the local. Here we go. Hello, stranger. Is this your beach? Your stubborn commitment to shoving me awake tells me yes. Wait, I know you. You're... Rusty? No, you're Danielle. <laughs> hey, how have you been? <laughs> As for me, I'm still trapped in a will-they-won't-they -they relationship with that flirty siren we call the sea. And due to an unfortunate accident that wasn't my fault, probably, I'm shipwrecked. Yes, again. Does it count as shipwreck if I don't know where the ship is? I should probably know this. Oh, I'll figure that out later. For now, I have to call my ship and summon another rescue. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh... My, uh... Oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I haven't got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. You. Yes, you. Will you help me find my communicator parts? I'll look for them. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your heart must be almost as big as your head. <laughs> the communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. Okay, so... This is similar to the wisp thing. You just have to find five buried things. Uh, like, like these are clams, but there'll be more of them than just the clams. And I'm out of shovel. But I need another shovel. Um, I do have a flimsy shovel, so I might use that for the moment. Uh, rather than rushing back and rebuilding. Oops. But yeah, you dig into holes that look like the clams, but they will be communicator parts, and there'll be five of them. Hopefully we can find them. So far I've just found more clams, so... Not quite what I had in mind. There we go, that's a communicator part. And here's a fossil. <laughs> I took up a fossil. Yes, I did. <laughs> did it, did it do? There's a bottle. I really wanted to make an item as like an homage to my favorite pop star and came up with this recipe. It's too good to keep it to myself, so I threw it in this bottle to share. You have to have to make it from Penelope, a creative. What's the recipe? Small cardboard boxes. Your favorite pop style, like small cardboard boxes? Alright, well, uh, I got a recipe. <laughs> That's cool. Here's another communicator part. <laughs> uh, I need five of them? I think that's three. And yeah, they're all on the beach, so we need to look for some more beach. Doom, 
Also, I'm going to need to make another real shovel, which is a little annoying because I believe that requires some iron. Uh... The flimsy shovel does all the same stuff, it's just it falls apart much more easily, which is not ideal. So I don't know if the vaulting pole can fall apart. Mine hasn't. I think this is the same one I crafted in the first place, but I'm guessing if you can craft them, that probably means they do fall apart at some point. Here's some more beach. Beach, 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 beach. There's nothing buried in it, it seems. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do, do, do. Ooh, ooh, hello. Okay, so the shiny spot here is a shiny spot. Um, we need to actually fave the flimsy shovel so I can equip it more quickly. Ah, uh, fave. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, eh, doesn't matter. Uh, clear favorite. Favorite. There, that's better. Um, and then what did I just unfave? That was my fishing rod. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddly, but it works. You can fave, like, anything you can hold, I believe, is the idea. Okay, so here's some money. We're going to dig up a thousand bells, and then we're going to bury ten thousand bells. Uh, I look. I, I was told the maximum amount you can bury in one of these is ten thousand. Like, you can put more in there, but you'll only get a tree with with bags worth ten thousand, so if you do more than that, it's a waste. Uh, so we'll keep doing it that way. Oh, yeah, look at all this good stuff. I think that's enough for the shop and to make a new shovel, which is very good because I do need both of those things. <laughs> Here's a fossil in the ground. I'll put it in my pockets. Da 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 Oops. Okay, there's another communicator part. How many is that? Four? I think it might be four. Let me just have a quick look. It is four. Yes, I was correct. Okay. Uh, how are we doing fossil-wise? Oh, oh yeah, we've got all the iron we need. I was right. Excellent. Uh, are we dropping that off shortly? So I guess the last communicator part will be... Back on the other side of this river here. Faulting pole. No idea if it can break. Just hasn't happened yet. Okay, I saw something just here. Where did it go? There it is. And that's five communicator parts. Excellent. I think we're still short of fossil. Um, I'm gonna drop that off with a uh, Gulliver first, just to free up some inventory. Well, I mean, it doesn't actually free up, free up any inventory, so I might not do that first. I'll do something else first. Let's go upgrade my shovel before it breaks. Uh, also, let's catch whatever that is, because I don't think I've caught that yet. But I may have done. It might be a stink bug? I'm not sure. It is a stink bug. I have already caught one of those. Eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't got one of those. Yes! I caught an Emperor Butterfly. It's not your average monarch. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's donate some iron here and make ourselves a fresh shovel. And maybe sell some stuff we don't need. Oh, cutscene time. Well, hello there, Danielle. Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have even a little extra space. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel. That'll be 198,000 bells, hmm? Ah, uh, yes, pl yes, please make your payment using the Nookstop's ADB feature, as you've done before. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll get to that in a bit. I'm gonna craft something with your workbench, thank you. 
Does it actually like reset the tool's durability when you craft it into something different? Because that's upgrading the flimsy shovel. I'm guessing yes, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. I made a shovel. All done for now. Bow, bow, bow. Let's sell some stuff we don't need to Timmy here. Also, we need to give him the nuggets. I'd like to donate. We already received some donations, so we need 30 iron nuggets. Can you handle that? These are for you. Here you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This means we have everything we need to get started on our shop. And because you helped gather what we need to start construction on the shop, we want you to have the honor. What is this honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure in making this happen, to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Oh, they're giving us a tent to place it with. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like and we'll get started on construction. I'm so excited to see the location you pick for us. Okay, I probably want it to be somewhere in the middle so it's easy to, easy to access. Um, also, I'm going to sell some stuff before I go. Just so I've got some breathing room. Ba-da-ba-da-ba, miller clam, stones, miller clam, uh, stink bug, and tree branch, and... That'll do. Yep, sounds good to me. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I wanted to put the money in there. There we go. And I can move my shovel back into place at the beginning. That's where shovels go. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And we can take the communicator parts back in a moment. And also we have to put our shop construction kit. Where should we put it? Uh, I'm thinking in the middle is probably best, like uh, near the plaza where everything else is right now. Um, maybe over here a bit? I don't know how big it is, though. Hello. Oh, hey, you know what brings you here? I want to chat. This weather rocks. Feels like anything I do is going to turn out awesome, you know? Hmm, if you say so. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. I could put the shop on a different bit of the island instead of on this middle piece, but I feel like it'd be better if it's easier to access. Uh, although there is a lot of room, like, over there, so let's go over there and have a look around. Yeah, let's put it here, actually. Um, I'll have to, like, cross the river for it, but no big deal. Let's have a look. Should I reserve this space for the shop? Uh, let me imagine it. Oh, it's Nook's Cranny! Oh, Is this a good spot? Yeah, that looks good to me. Cool. So, yeah, um, Nook's Cranny has been the initial shop in every Animal Crossing game. It gets upgraded every now and then. This is where the shop will go. I bet this island is about to become a whole lot livelier. Hooray! <laughs> uh, we also need to go talk to Gulliver, who is down this way. And we're still missing one fossil, actually. Hmm. wonder where it could be. Maybe further out here? No. It might be on the main island in the middle. It's weird to talk about this island and the islands that make it up. <laughs> there you are. Hi, Gulliver. Hey, did you find him? Got him right here. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Alright, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. <laughs> so listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that will knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. <laughs> You're welcome, Gulliver. That's adorable. Okay, uh... Basic number of seashells we sold. Yep, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Get some Nook Miles. And also... Uh, there should be one for helping out Gulliver just now. Maybe it's for helping him more times than that. Yeah, ten times. Okay. Okay, so where is that last fossil? Let's go look for it. And then we can donate those fossils, and we can also donate the butterfly that I caught. So that's pretty exciting. 
We probably want to keep hitting rocks with a shovel because there'll be a money rock around here somewhere we haven't found yet. And also we probably want to get more of the other stuff you can get by hitting rocks with a shovel. Um, iron and all that. For crafting purposes. Mashing the button. <laughs> there we go. Swoop, swoop. Swoop, swoop. Wrong spot. Swoop, swoop. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Money, money, money. <laughs> Got it all. Yeah, the, the bags get progressively more valuable, so... If you don't dig the holes, you don't get the most valuable one. You get like half as much as you would have done. Since they're like twice as valuable each time. So, pretty important to dig those little holes. Oh, there we go. That's the fossil. Okay, let's go see Blathers. See what we got. Also, is Teddy home? Also, there's a present going by. Hang on. Hang on, present. Present, present, present. I just noticed. Oh no, go back outside. Quickly. <laughs> Sorry, Teddy. <laughs> oh my goodness, where did it go? Was it going this way or the other way? Can't see it. Did it reset when I went inside? I hope it didn't. Dang it, I think it reset, because I went inside. <sighs> well, let's go talk to Teddy. That's alright. Yo, you're here. Perfect timing for an indoor workout, Groof. Let's talk. You really like that look, don't you? That's good, it suits you. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now to Blathers. Who is here in the museum? This museum is way bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Oh, he's asleep. Who? 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 I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime? Oh, more importantly, why hello, Danielle. Welcome to the Cantalot Museum. How might I, may I be of service? Uh, assess fossils, please. Because I have a bunch of fossils. Here they are. Who? more than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Who? woo hoo. These are rare fossils, each and every one, and have not appeared in our collection. I say you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. Now, I do hope you'll consider donating what you've found. The cultural development of Cantalo is a worthy endeavor indeed. I'm not doing his voice, am I? He had a bit of, a, of an English accent. I forgot to do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You've seen it before. Uh, I did this in, I think, the previous video, so... All good. Coprolite, Iguanodon Tail, Megasero? Megasero? Diplo Tail, and Emperor Butterfly. Okay, there we go. And we're done here. Thank you, Blathers. <laughs> okay, um... There we go. We still need to go to the Nook Stop and get our daily points. So we'll just head in here to do that.
Daily miles. Catching. It's not a lot, but you know, it's it's better than not getting them. Let's see if we've got new stuff to redeem yet. Uh, not yet. I thought it might start unlocking new things, but it doesn't seem to have done. Hmm. Yeah, these aren't new. These were already here. Um, I get the cool hairstyles, but I'm guessing I don't really want them. But I may as well spend the miles on something. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, point is, I've done that now, so it'll save the fact that I've done that. I need to tend some flowers, sell clumps of weeds, spend bells to buy items. Yeah, I can do some of those things. Hello. I did put up the shop construction kit. We've got our work cut out for us if we're going to open by tomorrow, but I can't wait. Aww. Uh, I want to sell. Uh, I'll sell you all of these. And all of these, and all of these, and I guess that's it. Sounds good to me, thank you. I'd like to see what you're selling as well, if that's alright. Um, what's for sale? Uh, an oil barrel, or a campfire cookware, or some uh, recipes that I already have. Alright, nothing interesting. I assume once the shop actually opens, there'll be better stuff for sale. To keep an eye out. Uh, I need to catch fish, and one of them has to be an arapaima. Okay. Also got to tend some flowers and chop some wood and stuff. Uh, I think I'm probably about done for this video, though, because I've done what I was intending to do, which was basically look at the house and maybe get enough iron ingots or nuggets, or whatever they're called, to do this, and I did, so. Oh yeah, actually the watering cans are different, which is interesting. All of the other, like, um, non-flimsy tools work the same as their flimsy counterparts, but the watering can works like a gold watering can from previous games, even though it's not one. It's interesting. Uh, the flimsy can just waters the space in front of you, whereas the normal, this, this good watering can waters, like, a bunch of spaces at the same time, and it's obviously way better. You can see I'm swinging it all around, yeah. But yeah, as far as I know, all the other tools, the flimsy and non-flimsy versions, just, just do the same thing. So I'm not sure why this one's a bit different, but it is a bit different. So there you go, I guess. Um, uh, just... Okay, that tree is safe. Let's whack it. Chopping some wood. Probably should have checked if it was safe first before the wasps had a chance to come out and get me, but I didn't. Because, yeah, if you hit it with an axe and there's a wasp in, the wasp does fall out, so you got to keep your eye out for that. <laughs> oh, softwood. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> redeem, catching. Okay, redeem nook miles. There we go. I'll go get the other hairstyles just just for completeness, so I have them all. Um, and that'll also get me some extra nook miles that I can use later because that's one of the goals. Um, that they're giving me today. Um, and yeah, we'll take a quick look at what those hairstyles are. I'll probably stick with what I've got right now, but I may as well see what the rest are. And then we're probably good. Hello, Nook Stop. I'd like to redeem some Nook Miles, please. Like the top eight cool hairstyles. Yes, please. Water has been printed. <laughs> huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned some cool hairstyles. I bet I could change up my look with a vanity or a mirror. And then I get 400 of that back, which is nice. Um, 
Spend bells to buy items. Let's check Nook Shopping, see if there's anything good today. Um, not really. I mean, the song maybe, but the rest of that's pretty boring. Hmm. Uh, I need to plant some flowers, though. I could buy some seeds. I think that's enough money, but I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Not quite. Okay, I'll buy, I'll buy some more. <laughs> There we go. Um, yeah, I'll just go check the hairstyles, and then I'll stop recording, I think. Uh, I'll probably keep playing, but I think that's enough for a video. Um, once I've shown you what the new hairstyles are, because then it's just going to be regular gameplay again. And not, like, new content. If that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. Boop. Yeah, let's change up my look. Let's see what else we can, we can use. Uh, let's see. I think that one might be new. I'm not sure. Uh, that's pretty gay. Uh, I don't know about that one. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure which ones are new, because I didn't really try the bottom row. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Still like these top ones better. I'm gonna put it back to what it was, actually. I thought that was really cute. There we go. Oh, Cute. <laughs> Let's go plant some flowers. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to stop recording now. I hope you enjoyed this little slice of island life. <laughs> um, I, I guess I'll do another video when the shop's open to give you a look at what's in there. I don't know if I'll do it like straight away or like a couple days later or we'll, we'll see. But that'll be like tomorrow at the earliest and later probably than that. By the way, yeah, you can play the Switch while sitting like this. Although you can't actually, you can't actually play it. It doesn't actually have a game on it or anything. It just goes click. Which is a bit sad. You could actually play games on the um, Wii U and 3DS items in New Leaf. So it's kind of weird that the Switch doesn't do that in this game. And in the GameCube version, you actually get NES games, which is pretty cool. I guess they stopped doing that because they decided doing Virtual Console instead. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!